In this video, we're going to look at managing your Dataverse audit log and controlling the beast that generates a lot of data in your file storage. You might have noticed that there's a new section in the admin portal. When you go to environments and drill down into an environment, there's an auditing section that now surfaces the auditing in a much more easy to find place than it used to be when it was buried under a few more clicks. You can see whether auditing is enabled. So in this environment, auditing is enabled, and I've chosen to keep it forever. I don't know about you, but forever seems like a really long time to keep things around. So we're gonna go ahead and manage. This is where you can control turning it on. You can turn auditing on, log access, read logs, and you can also change the retention now from here, and you get much more flexibility than you used to have around managing the retention on the audit logs that are retained. So for example, I may want to take only 30 days because I figure if I had a problem, I'd know by then, or if I want to do something longer, I could choose a year. You can change this later, so don't feel like you're making a forever decision. See how I did that, forever? You probably don't want forever because that's a really long time. We'll go ahead and save this. Now, if you suddenly realize you had it on forever, you can also go in and do some cleanup. So if we go back to the main page on the environment, you'll notice that in the auditing section, there's a delete logs option. This gives you some great things where you can delete data from the auditing log by table, by access logs and people who have accessed the system, if you have read or log access turned on, and all logs up into a selected date. So if I had it set to forever, I might use this to trim the old stuff off and get that all up to date. And that's how easy it is to manage your audit logs on a Dataverse environment.